This is Rio with I'm a Shooter Brand. My shooter of my is. I'm Lexi Bear. I go to Pure Notre Dame, class of 2026. Now let's get to know our shooter. What does it mean to you to be Shooter of the Month? I mean, it's an honor and I've been working, working hard to get my shot perfected. So having opportunities like this, it means a lot. So thank you. You're definitely a shooter. <laughs> what are your favorite kicks to rock on the court? Right now I'm wearing uh, the customizable Sabrinas. So I really like them. I like wearing them and um, I'm happy to have them. What music do you listen to or what artists get you pumped before a game? I listen to a lot of Drake before games, stuff like that. I like more upbeat music, hype music, rather than slow music, personally, so. Do you have a certain pre-game ritual or routine? Um, it changes. I usually eat before games, and I have these anklets that I've been wearing for about two years now that I just always, um, I look at them before the game, and it's just something small that I okay. have, so. Okay, all right. What or who influenced you to first pick up a basketball? My entire family did. I mean, my cousin, everybody um, in my family are hoopers, my brothers, my parents are all hoopers, so it kind of just runs in the family. Okay. Who's your favorite basketball team and who's your favorite player? I got to go with um, the Golden State Warriors because that's the team that my cousin played on, Sean Livingston. Oh, so he's a, <laughs> so I always, I always got to go with them and I love supporting them and everything, so yeah. What player would you compare yourself to and why? Um, one player that I've always kind of looked up to is um, Candace Parker, you know, having the height and everything, and then any, any type of shooter, in a way, so. Okay. What is your biggest strength on the court, and what is your biggest weakness? My biggest strength is definitely my shot um, and the height that I have on the court, and my biggest weakness right now is driving, but working on it, so. You get that, you get that. Would you rather get a bucket or an assist, and why? I love getting assists, but I'd rather have a bucket, so. <laughs> <laughs> What is important to being a good student athlete? It's really important, especially getting into college and everything. They look for having good grades, and it's just good morals to keep yourself um, going in school, so it's very important. What separates you from any other hooper? So it's my shot. <laughs> Definitely being tall, a tall um, shooting guard. It's got to be the shot, so. How does it feel seeing women basketball finally getting recognition it deserved? It's really nice, you know, seeing everything on TV and more people knowing about it. It's, it's great. It feels okay. good. <laughs> Why did you craft your game with shooting being one of your top priorities? I definitely, um, it all started with um, my brother. He had a shooting coach and I was introduced to him through him. And ever since then, he's been working on my shot and that's how I am where okay. I am. Why is it so important to have a good basketball IQ? It's one of the most important things in the game, knowing how to make the right play, when to make the right play. So it's very important. Do you have any siblings? I do, I have two older brothers. <laughs> Who are the best athletes? I gotta say me, but. <laughs> <laughs> but what role have your parents played in your success so far? They've done a lot for me, and my mom always driving me around everywhere and giving me new opportunities to go places, so it's, okay. it's been a lot, it's been okay. a lot. After winning the state championship last year, what are your 10 goals for this year? I definitely have to say that I want to get as far as I can again with my team and we're going to be good again. So I'm excited. I'm excited. What are some of your individual goals? 
My biggest individual goal right now is to get to driving to the lane when I'm uh, getting to the basket. So that's one of my biggest individual goals right now. How do you think the game would change going from high school to college? I think it's constantly changing. Um, and I just think with the um, exposure that people are getting, it's going to start being more and more. So, What made you pick up a basketball? That was my family, and having all of them kind of like evolve around basketball, it all started with them. What do you see yourself doing in life after basketball? Um, I mean, I've been looking into like kind of sports medicine, physician okay. type job, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why you picked up from watching players at the higher level? It's different, it's a lot more intense, and you gotta get ready for that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just, it's more intense at the higher level, so. That's, that's a fact. What is your definition of being a shooter? Someone who can shoot the ball well, who you can count on to make a shot, so. Who would you pick for your rookie of the year and MVP for this WNBA season? Caitlin Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, okay. Gotta be, gotta, gotta be. be. Okay, mm -hmm. she's definitely a shooter. So what about MVP? Asia, Asia would be for sure? MVP. I think so. Yeah, facts. <laughs> She, she a beast. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave with the final word. Keep God, keep your parents, keep playing hard. I'll be rooting for you and good luck. See you, Thank you. Yeah.